Hey yo, what is good YouTube man? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Now look, Shiesty Man Jones is back. If y'all haven't seen my my video called The Power of Shiesty Man, go watch that. But look, today's video, I'm showing you the new best shooting badges to use. I haven't done an update like this since season one of the game. So season three is out. Gotta do y'all right, you feel me? So look, with all that being said, bro, this is my updated guide of what shooting badges y'all should be putting on, what shooting badges y'all should be worrying about, and which ones are trash and what's not trash. But look, if y'all do happen to enjoy or y'all gain any type of knowledge on what shooting badges y'all gained or what shooting badges y'all should be using please drop a like for your boy you feel me and subscribe to the channel bro we on the road to 20k bro but look with all that being said bro let's get right into this banger <laughs> So now look, this is my shooting badge updated, you know what I'm saying, badge ranking, badge tier list. These are all the shooting badges that I think are actually good in this game, what I rank them, what how I like choose y'all to use them for y'all build, what's the best, what's the worst, in my opinion, y'all can go based off of my opinion and like evaluate it with your own, it's completely up to y'all, but this is what I think is good, what I think is bad on a shooting badge tier list in NBA 2K23. Now, off the rip, Agent 3 is one of the best badges in the game, in my opinion, it helps me shoot all my threes, fadeaway threes, regular threes, step back threes everything in the game if i could i would put this on hall of fame but on like my 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 bills i only can get like a silver agent three so like the highest you can run this badge i recommend it but if you don't have too many extra badge points don't go for the hall of fame go for like anywhere between silver and gold if you have an extra badge points i'm saying if you have like a 93 ball obviously the best thing you should do is put it on gold but if you don't have too many shooting badges then go ahead and drop it to silver or you know what i'm saying evaluate that in my opinion it's just completely up to y'all just do what y'all want to do but in my opinion i recommend y'all run this at silver or gold for sure amp badge now i'm not gonna lie i have been using amp badge on all of my builds like every single build that i have on silver i have never went higher than silver i don't really see no point of going higher than silver i see a lot of people saying no bro put it on hall of fame but like i tried it on hall of fame on my 92 three ball build and it really was not like it really was not like top tier like i thought it would be and then I tried it on gold. It's solid on gold. You know what I'm saying? I dribble more and I could take a little bit more shots. But I still see like, I still barely see a noticeable jump from silver to gold in my opinion. Y'all might, might see different. But like, in my opinion, I don't really see no difference with this badge at all. And silver and gold. So I recommend y'all just put it at silver. I've been shooting fine the whole year with a silver amp. So y'all can do whatever y'all want to. But in my opinion, I think silver is the best. Um, Blinders badge. I don't see nobody using this badge no more. I don't use this badge. I don't see no YouTubers using this badge. I don't see no players I play with using this badge. I don't even see people. I don't even see random using this badge. Like this badge just completely fell off. It's actually it's absolutely trash. I don't know like who's running this badge anymore. In my opinion, it's garbage. Like it don't work. You might as well just use Dead Eye. Like it's it's kind of just trash i'm sorry like no like all of the people from 2k22 was like left right and 24 7 so obviously they'll be behind you and on the side of you but you basically can't even crab in this game they're not going to be on the side of you this badge is kind of useless in my opinion so like i don't use this badge and it does not make a difference in my shooting at all like literally catch and shoot is a w badge i recommend it from gold to silver you honestly don't need this on hall of fame unless you're a corner popper 24 7 always popping in the corner this is like a good good badge for you but still at that still at that like corner popping level you still don't really need this like hall of fame you feel me you don't really need a hall of fame if you're a popper i recommend like gold or silver or even bronze if you don't even want to put it that high if you just want to save badge points to put it to other things so like silver gold me when i when i run this badge i put it on silver but y'all like, can do whatever y'all want to for, for if y'all think gold works better for y'all put it on gold Claymore, another badge for poppers and everything. If you sit in the corner 24 seven and they pass you the ball, you know what I'm saying? It's good, but like, if you have on catch and shoot, it's not like, it's not like a necessity anymore. Like, I recommend y'all put this on bronze or silver at most. Like, like I was using this badge on my 7-3 and it's like, it didn't really make a difference when I had on catch and shoot compared to Claymore. And then I had them both on, I was still shooting shots. You feel me? Still missing when I don't time it right. Cause like everything in this game is just timing. Doesn't really matter what you have on no more. It's just all about timing, to be honest. So you can put this on bronze. It don't really matter too much. Clutch shooter, another badge, my career badge, not really useful. It's it does help you in some situations in part. So if like if your team is down like two points, 
it'll give you a boost at the end of the game but like other than that this bat is kind of useless you can put it on if y'all want to me i put this on bronze if i ever did put it on but i haven't put this on since like 2k 21 2k 20 2k i don't know <laughs> i don't use that bad it's kind of useless in my opinion comeback kid another another bad it's fire for some people i've seen people say oh man bro i started hitting shots out of nowhere bro blah 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 but if you want to be straight up a golden shooter bro this is like if you're down like if you're trash this will help you a little bit but if you can time your jump shot you don't need this bro if you if you can time your shot and you're taking smart shots on the daily bro you do not need this badge it's kind of useless i'm gonna keep it a being corner specialist another badge just like claymore catch and shoot highest i'll put this at is bronze or silver but this but at that this badge is still like kind of useless in my opinion it don't really do much anymore like it used to well actually this badge never really did much anyway so like uh bronze or silver is like the, the highest i would go if you like fading in the corner a lot or if you just sit in the corner in general you spot corner or you fade in the corner like uh i don't know if you had the ball you fade in the corner whatever you want to do this is a good badge but at that not many people fade shots anymore in this game anyway they only like fade like at the top of the at the top of the key they don't really fade in the corner no more because i guess fading it just ain't the wave no more in this game i really just see people doing spot up shots or step back shots you know what i'm saying fades is not even that tough no more like fades is kind of non-existent in this 2k to be honest that i another badge i personally since i have like a 92 three ball one of my bills gold that i is a w badge i don't know like if people can agree with that but in my opinion it's a huge w i don't see y'all putting us on hall of fame because literally no one has like no literally no one has 99 three ball but obviously if you can get it on that i wouldn't say to put it on that i say put that put it max put it at gold but if you want to y'all can the only badge that's on like shooting category that i recommend at hall of fame is either is either limitless range or green machine other than that like i don't see no other badge on hall of fame in this whole category besides limitless range uh green machine and probably agent three if you want to but like again no one really has a 96 three ball so yeah um yeah so that eye silver gold or bronze whichever one as high as you can possibly go on your build another badge green machine if you're consistently greening your shots and you're not really missing nothing bro i recommend y'all put this on silver or gold obviously most people don't have hall of, most people are not able to get up to hall of fame but if you can and you and you're 100 going to be greening all your shots i recommend you put it on hall of fame or gold or even silver bronze is still good too don't get me wrong it's just like it's just like dead eye the higher the badge goes the better it gets other badges you know what i'm saying higher goals it gets better but like is it really worth the extra badge points not really same thing with those badges but yeah guard up another badge it's a w it's a, it's like a hit or miss but like in my opinion trying this badge like every single time like this badge is straight up trash like it don't work my shooting is still fine compared to like like i don't know like this badge is like a hit or miss badly because this badge helps y'all like when someone's just standing next to you and they don't put their hands up like i've seen the test on this badge it's, it shows a person like putting their hand up to the ball but like this badge really only pops up or works like when someone is just standing next to you and they don't put their hands up and they're just in the like the little guard position so that's what it does that's the only time it actually activates but other than that like this badge is kind of useless because who's actually about to shoot in people's faces anyway so like if you're gonna put this badge on i recommend it on, like bronze or if you're gonna put it on silver like you're pushing it at that so yeah limitless rain most people can only put this on like silver because most people have an 85 three ball which is still solid but if you can get it higher up to gold is fire and if you can get it on 99 if you have a 99 three ball put it on hall of fame like there's like there's no reason why you shouldn't be putting limitless range higher if you could put it higher it's just like the best shooting badge in the game other than agent three and green machine you feel me mini magician this is another hit this is another hit or miss badge if you're not a post scorer or if you're not post fading on people or anything like that or you're not fading away in the corner in general i don't really see a real reason to putting this badge on i make mid ranges mid range jump shots fadeaways and everything without this badge on when i put it on like gold when i have them like my 7.3 or something it helps me hit fadeaways and everything even more so it's completely up to y'all how y'all play it but is this badge really worth it for like the average shooter and anything on this on this game no i recommend y'all put it on like bronze or silver but if you really get into that post fade game definitely put it on gold if you want to you can put it on hall of fame if you really do all of that but most people i know really don't so yeah 
slippery off ball another trash badge i'm not even gonna say too much about this i mean if you play my career it's cool but like this one's mid in my opinion i don't recommend no one use that another mid badge space creator uh i see a lot of people saying oh bro it's helped me break ankles and doing all this bro this badge is completely useless i don't see what this badge actually does i mean like if you over here on the um if you got um if you if you if you a person that's dribbling a lot and you want a better badge i mean you could just put on ankle breaker or clamp breaker you feel me like that's way better than a space creator like these badges actually work compared to other years space creator hasn't worked in my opinion since 2k20 so like y'all can use that badge if you want to but it's kind of like useless same with killer combos but i'm gonna say that for another day but um yeah volume shooter is a solid badge i don't really see like too much it does but like sometimes when i put it on silver or gold or bronze i do see a little bit of a noticeable like it, i see like a little bit noticeable increase in my shot just a teeny bit when i have it on silver or bronze but like if you want to put it on you can but like it's not really going to help y'all that much rest most i recommend y'all put it on if you're just testing it bronze or gold i mean bronze or silver but like if you got the extra bash points you can go ahead and put on volume shooter on gold or hall of fame i don't really see no reason why people put this on hall of fame but bronze or silver is the highest i recommend but yeah that is my updated season three shooting badge i don't know tier list ranking whatever y'all want to call it if y'all did learn something from this video if y'all found anything useful bro please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel you feel me but with all that being said bro i'm out peace